Yeah, bad things happen to Philly, like getting your bitch ass the fuck out of here. Yes, you're gone. You're gonna... Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's good. Oh, you motherfuckers went and beat Tom Brady and Donald Trump within a four-year period? Oh, oh, I don't know what type of god you serve. Yes, oh. Woo! But mine is a mighty one, and he has smite the smoke Yes, yes, very good. <laughs> It was wild because I, I, li I live in Center City, so I was out yesterday. I was out, I was walking around, I was trying to get groceries. I wasn't even trying to party, bro. I'm trying to live my life, you know what I'm saying? I gotta get groceries, man, you know what I'm saying? I can eat more vegetables, that's what I gotta do. I was out here, people were playing music, I saw white people dancing off beat, and I said, they're happy, they're very happy. They're very happy, they're dancing off beat. And it took me back to when y'all won the Super Bowl. Because when y'all won the Super Bowl, I got really excited, and I ran out to Broad Street. Because I knew I was going to see some shit that I had never seen before and I would never see again. <laughs> and y'all did not disappoint. <laughs> y'all, I saw men crying in front of other men. You understand this? I saw women hug men they didn't know in the Me Too era. That shit was stressful. You know what I'm saying? And there was a powerful moment for me because I went to go home and I turned around and I made eye contact with the cop. And my man had tears streaming down his face and he stuck his hand out and he was like, we did it, Eagles, bro. And I was like, mm, that's entrapment. No, 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 <laughs> won't get me that way. No, no, <laughs> why's the body came off? No. <laughs> I went to work the next day. One of my homies was like, yo, man, you were out in that? And I was like, yeah, dog, I was out in that. And he was like, yo, when did you know that it was time to go home because it might not be safe? And I was like, when I saw white boys perfectly reciting Meek Mill lyrics, I was like, oh, we gotta go, okay. <laughs> Okay, it's not. <laughs> Wait, they know all the words and dreams and nightmares and sound just like them. We gotta go. We cannot. We cannot be here. It's the witching hour. You understand this? Okay. Because <laughs> you know when white people are happy, bad things can happen. Okay, we know this. <laughs> we know this. To the six of you here, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. We, I'm from. Uh, listen, I'm from Columbus, Ohio. When they won sports games, they burn cars. Why? Joy. That's why. They said, we are so overwhelmed with joy, we will create property damage. <laughs> and then you tell me that my people are the problem. No, I refuse. <laughs> um, being from Columbus, both uh, my parents are actually Nigerian. And, yeah, hey, look at that. Nigerians. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, niggas was quiet, docile, entire show. I said, I'm Nigerian. <laughs> What? <laughs> they said they're, they're about to tell yo, what tribe are y'all? Yoruba. Yoruba. Oh, okay, that's my tribe. Let's go! Oh! Y'all don't know what any of that means, but you know you clap. Clap now for my tribe. Clap now! Clap now for Nigeria! Yes! Yeah, <laughs> God damn it. We are everywhere. We, we are. And, and, and you, you don't like it, but we will not leave. <laughs> we will not leave. We're not. We're better capitalists than you, okay? We scam better. We get more degrees. That's what we do. Okay? <laughs> she ain't proud to do it, you know? I remember I was home for Christmas, and I was helping my mom put up the Christmas tree, and I asked her a very basic question. I was like, hey, mama, what's your favorite color? And this woman looked at me and said, oh, honey, the blood of Christ. Nigga said, amen. <laughs> red would have been totally acceptable. You know what I'm saying? Like, red. Man, I like that a lot. But my mom, she, she raised me to like always be self-sufficient, always take care of myself. So when I moved out here, I had to get a couple jobs. And one of the jobs that I got, I learned how to bartend uh, in Philadelphia. And I bartended for seven years. And then pandemic took it away because the president does not believe in germs. So it, it ended. But I've been bartending so long that I can judge people based on what they order to drink. I've been judging all y'all the entire time I've been up here. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. Someone orders a yingling, that's a blue collar American who likes missionary sex every night. <laughs> Standard. <laughs> Standard. <laughs> Yo, someone orders a vodka soda, CrossFit enthusiast, or someone getting ready for a wedding, all right? Someone orders a shot of Fireball, that's a white girl who likes Lizzo way too much, all right? <laughs> that's just math, all right? Someone orders something that has cognac, Hennessy, or Cavassia in it, that nigga cheats, all right? I don't make the rules. I do not make them. Okay. I don't make these you rules. Know, just gotta clap it up if you're 30 and up. Clap it up. If you're 30 and up, clap it up, yeah. Yeah, look at that, look at Yeah, the four whites, young, in their 20s, huh? 
time, hope still in their eyes. Ah, this is good, yeah, my man, white boy's like, fuck yeah, yeah, <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> What's your name, white man, sir? What's your name, bro? I'm sorry? Tyler. Goddamn right, Tyler. <laughs> okay. Yeah, boy. Tyler right there, hand on his girl named Tyler. He eats ass. We know this. Okay, like, we know we can see your, your 